This video is for the advanced footwork pattern of a backhand approach, one that is meant to carry you into the net so that you can be ready for the volley that is to come next. So let's take this video from the beginning. Right from the start, you see I'm tossing the ball in front of me, and I immediately start with my racket up, boop, and my shoulders are completely turned. They are, I mean, I am perpendicular to the net, at this point okay so if you continue to keep going notice boom right there the first thing to load to set your feet is the left foot if you're right-handed obviously or sorry if you're left-handed obviously it would be opposite but notice how much weight here I have put on my left leg now I've already started to drop the racket head and this is crucial for the uh, purpose of knowing when to swing and when when to build the rhythm for this if you want to get a little bit more advanced. I do also want to point out my hips are still completely turned. This is very, very crucial at this point. But let's move forward. So after this, I've transferred my weight to my front foot. And now you can see I've started my forward swing. All of my weight at this point is on my front foot. And also, if you notice, my back foot is just kind of kicking up in the air, and this should happen naturally, okay, as you're swinging through the shot. And another note, my hips still turned. So this is very, very crucial. And this is what makes this footwork a little bit more advanced than usual is because the more you develop to keep your hips turned, the better your shot will be. So let's continue with this stroke. I'm following through. What did you just see there? You saw an extra little hop on that front foot, and that is just to gain balance. But still, my back foot is in the air. And if you notice too, now that I've swung my racket, this is when my hips started to open up just a little bit, right? So continuing on with the shot, I just let my back foot carry over it is now loaded on the ground. And from the rest of it, I just take it forward like a usual run, and then I boom, split step. Just notice how low I am getting there at this point. So just to keep it going and just mention a few more things from this video, I am making sure that I am keeping my body turned. Also a note, my racket head's up pretty high, so just remember, to keep that racket head facing up until you have set your feet, okay? Now I have set and I've used my complete momentum to build me forward. And of course, I have also let, made sure, sorry, let me go back a little bit. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, went the wrong way. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, I have really made sure that I kept my hips turned to the extent that I could. And what's making me come forward is my follow through. And I'm following through all the way over my shoulder. That is when my hips start to open up. So I just wanted to take that a little bit slower for you guys to see. And hopefully that helps you to help you with your advanced footwork on the backhand approach.